is watching and waiting just like you at home. Don talked about those winds, and it's been quite a bit of a gusty day on the Outer Banks. Andy Fox joins us now live from Nags Head. How bad is it, Andy? Well, you know what? Uh, everyone thought that this would not be a major event, and that turned out to be the truth. At 5 o'clock when we were broadcasting, it was sunny, if you remember, and then at 5.30 it was cloudy. Both those times it was windy. It remains windy and overcast again, but it was basically, you could see the sun trying to break through. It was a pretty good day on the beach for tourists. Take a look at this. We were out there earlier. They were out there walking on the beach. Uh, they were uh, kind of soaking up the last rays of sunshine that they could. Dare County Emergency Management did not think that this would be a big event, uh, but county offices closed down at noon just in case because of the unfavorable weather predicted. Fact is, the day was not a washout. It was windy, but tourists hoping to get a last day on the beach. They got just that before heading home tomorrow. We were a little concerned about the rain situation, basically because we enjoyed the beach and didn't want to be rained out. Nothing too spectacular happening today, just a lot of wind, a lot of, uh, a lot of sand in the mouth. A system as large as this passes through this area, it's, it's affected. As soon as these things hit land and hit the steering currents, they get changed around a little bit. This, we were forecast to be in this thing and have precipitation all day long. Um, obviously, our on-scene weather is different right now. Yeah, so even uh, the lifeguards out there, uh, they uh, were pleasantly surprised by today. Now, I've been watching these birds for a little while. It's really interesting to watch them. They will stay head headstrong into the wind, and you can tell the little subtle shifts of wind because they will move their bodies. And as you can see, they're all just kind of, kind of lined up. Right here, there's uh, seven of them, and they just, it's really interesting to watch because they'll move their bodies as the winds shift. And so that's the latest here from uh, Nags Head.